So it's super tempting when you're creating a video game, especially if you're using a tool like Scratch, to just dive right in and create it. And that's certainly one way to learn and to experiment with Scratch. But if you want to create a game that is engaging for users, that has clear rules and a goal um, and things that will make it more playable, then you're going to want to have a plan. Now, you don't have to use this planner, but we're going to offer it to you um, as a way to start your planning. This one's pretty simple. Um, you know, name of the game. That might seem um, silly and you might not have that right away, but it can definitely uh, impact the direction of your game. What kind of genre? Is it action, adventure, role playing, simulation, social strategy or puzzle or maybe a combination of those? Um, what platform are you going to be using? So especially if you're in the intro level, this will probably be either Scratch or Twine. Very important. What is the goal of your game? Uh, this one's a little bit harder, the target user of your game. Um, a lot of people say, well, I want everybody to play it. But you got to think about, um, you know, you don't play every game that's out there. What are the games that you're interested in? And think about the type typical users of those games. And that's kind of what you want to put put there. So, you know, it could just be your friends. It could be your family um, if you want to get really specific um, so that you can be de designing on behalf of the things you know they like instead of trying to say uh, everybody. What kind of sprites will you need um, and how many? Uh, this will give you an idea of how much uh, prep work you're going to have to do and how you're going to do that. Again, with the backgrounds and stages, how many of those will you need? How will the user play your game? What are the game controllers? And of course, the rules. So, you know, are they going to use the arrow keys, the mouse? Um, what, what sort of input they're going to have? Is there a win condition? There doesn't have to be with a game, but if there is, um, how will the users win and how will you clue them into that? Are you going to keep score and how? Um, do you want to have some music or sound effects? Uh, that always enhances a game, almost always. So you definitely want to think about that. How would you market your game? Um, again, this is a great thing to just think about. Um, you know, if you had to advertise this game, what would be your tagline? And if you're going to get more detailed, um, especially if you're doing a more complicated game, you want to think about, you know, when am I going to get the plan done? When am I going to get all the assets that I need created? It's often a good idea to kind of get all that stuff going before you start actually working on the program. And then you want to do testing, right? You need to make sure that the bugs, the game doesn't have bugs. That's functional testing. And then you want to have uh, people try it out. So we hope that there's going to be time in this week where you can actually get folks to try your game out and give you some feedback. And finally, you could go through or they could go through that evaluation checklist that I shared um, earlier on. So that's one thing you want to do. A second thing I suggest is to do a quick little storyboard. Again, it doesn't have to be a big deal. It doesn't have to be the storyboard for the whole game. What I recommend, especially if you're having levels, is at least um, do a storyboard for one level. And, um, you know, what is it going to look like? Again, this doesn't have to be a pretty image, but think about what's going to be on the screen and kind of highlight those things. Are there going to be buttons, images, sprites, that kind of stuff? And then describe this level um, with words. You know, what is going on this level? And um, it'll just help you. Again, if you, as you're making the game, if you decide to make some changes on your plan, that's fine. But if you don't have a plan to start with, um, that can sometimes be um, an issue. So for this challenge, to complete this challenge, we'd either like to see a game plan or a level of your storyboard for your game. All right, good luck.